Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating this look by my favorite YouTuber, Shanna Kso. She wore this look in an unboxing and then she posted a tutorial for it. And I don't know, just something about it I love. I feel like it just looks so pretty and feminine and it has like that cool edge of the blue liner. Go ahead and scroll down and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it too. And let's just get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter as my primer. I'm gonna put this on the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit above my brow. My skin has been such a mess pretty much since this quarantine started, maybe a little bit before my hormonal acne is coming back. The last three days, I stopped eating sugar. So my sugar consumption was going way up. I don't usually eat a lot of sugar, like, for the last few years anyways. Um, I've been trying to keep my sugar consumption low. I'm gonna prime my eyelids as well with a little bit of my Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer. Since the whole situation that we're going through right now started and like before that, I think because things were kind of stressful and everything was a little bit different, I kind of was in like a very like treat yourself kind of mood. And that meant that I was having lattes every day and I like my lattes with sugar in them and normally that would be like a once a week kind of treat for me and I was having that every day. And then I was also having dessert every day. So I'm not like a huge dessert person. I much prefer savory foods to sweet foods. But I just, I don't know, was like, looking to dessert for some comfort and some stress relief. And so my sugar consumption was just going like up and up and up. I was trying to put together what had changed that could make my skin break out so much. And so the two things that I thought of were stress and sugar. So if there was anything that I can help, like stress is kind of like a natural situation. So the sugar is something that is really in my control. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is about, I don't know, Three or four days ago, I stopped with the sugar. I haven't been having sugar in the morning or at night, and my skin is like completely clearing up. So I don't know if it's because of the sugar, it could just be coincidental, but I have like no active acne on my face right now, and like everything that's showing up here is like completely flat and just kind of drying out. Uh, if you guys have been watching my vlogs, I've been using a new skincare product at night. That's really helping with the actual active acne, but it, it hasn't really been preventing new acne from forming. So yeah, uh, my skin's been going really good just the past like couple days, which is great. I'm gonna start with my eyes because I wanna be able to clean up underneath once I make a big mess out of everything. I'm gonna be using my Natasha Denona palette today. If you're new to my channel, I'm not at home right now, so the only eyeshadow palette that I have with me is my Natasha Denona palette, but there's tons of variation in here, so I've been able to do lots of fun different looks. I'm going to start just by putting down a transition shade. I don't really want this color to show up like at all. So I'm gonna be super light handed with it. These colors are so pigmented. So I'm gonna take this color right here on my MAC 224 and I'm just gonna really lightly add this to the outer corner of my crease. And then I want it to kind of come into my crease and not above it. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so I'm bringing this product right here. And lately the way I've been doing my makeup is I've been carrying that across and coming up and intersecting with my brow. I wanna try something a little bit different today. I've been meaning to and I keep forgetting. So I'm gonna add this color right here can you guys see? I'm gonna add this color right here and then I'm gonna come down into my crease here uh, with the rest of it so that it's not so blown out and it's not going up as high. Because I'm doing the blue, oops, see, I almost, I almost did it again on this side. I have to be thoughtful. You get into such a routine with your makeup, you know, it's hard to switch it up. Especially with like basic steps, like a transition shade. So there's a lot of different gold tones in this palette. Let me try and show you guys. 
Let me turn the light down because it's kind of blowing out the color a little bit. Hold on. You guys see those? So there's four different gold colors in the palette. Some of them are darker, some of them are more yellow, some of them are more bronzy. I want it to be kind of a yellow gold. So I'm gonna go with this one right here that you can barely see. Um, it's a little bit more of like a yellowy gold tone. Imperia, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna start with this on a brush and I am going to, wow, these shadows are so beautiful. I'm like so excited to put this on my face. Like I was saying, I'm gonna start with this on a brush and then if I feel like I need more pigmentation, I'll go in a little bit more with my finger. But I'm gonna take this all the way across my lid. So from the inner corner to the outer corner, and then just to see what it would look like, I'm gonna go over top of that with my finger. Yeah, just to intensify a little bit. If you guys wanna see more looks with this palette, I'll leave a playlist down below and I'll link it up here of all of the looks I've done so far with it. Check them out and see how versatile it is, how many different types of looks you can do. It's a really good palette. Her shadows are amazing quality as well if you're curious about Natasha Denona eyeshadows. They're extremely expensive. I got this as a gift. I'm just going back in with a little bit of my crease shade because kind of lost it a little bit here, so I'm just going over it again. But yeah, if you're contemplating treating yourself to some of these Natasha Denona shadows, go for it, girl. They're so nice. I wish I had my Dolce Vita eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury so I could throw the pop shade all over. Oh, I feel like that would be amazing, but I don't. So what I'm going to do next is take one of these darker golds, maybe this one right here. So I'm gonna go, this is the one I just used. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. Just to this outer corner here to add a little bit of depth. Kind of bring it about halfway across the lid. And then I wanna smoke out that outer corner with a matte brown shade. So she has two in this palette, one that's more cool tone and one that's more warm tone. I'm gonna take this one right here, which is the more cool tone one. This is the color Azoic. And I'm going to put this with a small, more dense and defined brush right onto that outer corner. I'm gonna go in with a small little blending brush and the transition shade that we used in the crease. And I'm just gonna really lightly go over top of that to blend out the edges. I didn't really think this through because normally when I make a mess under my eyes here, I would take like a makeup wipe or some makeup remover and clean that up, but I don't have any makeup remover with me. So let me just try and use this damp paper towel that I dried my beauty blender with. <sighs> yeah, that's not really working. That's just pushing the eyeshadow into my skin. <laughs> Probably wiping off all that flawless filter I put on too. Okay, whatever. We can just go over top with concealer and hopefully it'll cover that all up. Next, I'm going to try and do the blue eyeliner. I wore this blue shirt to match my blue eyeliner. This is my boyfriend's dad's shirt. We're staying in, why is my battery? Hold on. If you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, I'm quarantining at my boyfriend's family cottage right now. So this is actually his dad's shirt. I was going through the drawers when we first got here and I found this dope Nike half zip in there. I was wearing it for a little while when we first got here, but then I was like, okay, this isn't mine. I should put it away. But since we we're playing with the blue liner today, I'm, I was like, yes, I'm bringing that back out. So there are a few blues in this palette as well. I did a full blue eye look on New Year's. I'll put a picture of it here. I loved wearing that look. I just think it's so much fun to do something different every once in a while, you know? There's these two blues on the bottom here, and then there's these two blues right here. What I think I'm gonna do is start with a darker blue to try and cover up as much of that gold pigment as I can, and then I'll probably go over top with a lighter blue. Uh, to try and make that pop a little bit. I'm going to start with the color Enigma. And I'm using my little angled eyeliner brush that I love so much from MAC. And let's just go for it. I 
wow. I honestly cannot believe that. I literally just did the like perfect little wing. And the color is standing out so much, it's so pigmented. Yes, this is going so well. Okay, I'm just filling that in. I wanna keep it nice and thin on this inner corner. I thought it was gonna be hard to get the blue to stand out over top of other eyeshadows, but look at that, you guys. It looks so good. These eyeshadows, literally every time I use them, I'm like, whoa, these eyeshadows are so good. They just blow me away every time. It's so cool. So I'm just gonna go over that a couple of times just to try and intensify that color a little bit and I'll be back for the next step. Okay, wings are on both sides. Going to clean off my brush here a little bit and I'm gonna go in with this lighter blue shade right here that's more of like a shimmery blue. All right, same brush and I'm just gonna go over top of that darker blue. I just really want this liner to read as blue um, it's almost looking a little green because the blue is mixing with the yellowy gold underneath. So that's making more, and making it look a little more like green. And I really want it to stand out as blue and I want it to pop. So the lighter blue shade with the shimmer should really make the liner pop. I want to zoom you guys in as much as I can, but I kind of go out of the frame because of the setup that I'm in right now my chair height is not adjustable usually at home I can move my chair up or down so that I can stay in frame but let me just get you in as close as I can for this part just so you can see what I'm doing with this liner okay that looks amazing. I'm so happy with how that came out. Okay, so I have a big mess underneath my eyes here with all of the fallout from the shadows and I wanna get that cleaned up. The color of my concealer is really not matching me anymore. I feel like it looks so bad in my videos and my photos lately, but it's literally all I have. I was thinking maybe I should try putting my concealer on first and then my foundation over top. Usually I do it the other way around to try and avoid having it look like so terrible. <laughs> uh, so let's give this a go. So just gonna be real careful around this part of my eye. I'm gonna actually go in with a brush and the concealer there because I can have a little bit more control. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and dip it right into that concealer and just go right up against that wing to really clean up that area. Okay, so once I get that concealer down, the way I blend it out is I take any excess concealer off of my brush, and then I'm gonna hold the brush from the bottom of the brush handle. And I'm gonna just really lightly kind of wiggle back and forth and pull that product down, okay? That's how I'm gonna blend that out while keeping the line really nice and sharp and not going and not covering up any of the wings liner. Oh, concealer is life. I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some foundation. The foundation that I have with me right now is this guy from YSL. This is the uh, Fusion Ink Foundation. It is, I'd say, a medium coverage foundation with more of a matte finish. The color matched me nicely when I first got up here, but I'm starting to get a little pasty wasty guys. I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. My skin is really cooperating today. That looks so smooth and nice. Oh man, especially my forehead. My forehead looks like it's 21 years old. All right, let's go ahead and set that concealer. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Genius Magic Powder. I have mine in the shade number two. 
I love how brightening this powder is. And I'm just gonna set the areas where I put concealer. So under my eyes, my chin, and the middle of my forehead. And then I also set my nose because my nose is randomly super sweaty and oily all of the time. Oh, I feel so good. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. I am gonna go back in with the color rope, which is the color we've been blending with this entire time, and I'm gonna bring that along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this little definer brush from MAC, it's like flat and thin, and I'm going to dip this into, should I use the bright gold? Yeah, let's start with the light gold shade that we used all over the lid. And I'm gonna start on the inner corner here. Bring it about halfway across and see how I'm feeling. Yeah, let's just bring it about halfway across starting at the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the darker gold shade that I used, which I think was this one, and put that on the outer corner. Last step for the eyeshadow is my inner corner. So I'm gonna start with this gold shade right here. It's a little bit more sheer. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna pop that right onto the inner corner of my eye. A Little bit like bronzy. It's got a little bit more sparkle in it than some of the other colors here. Then I'm gonna take the light gold that we used all over the lid and on the lower lash line and I'm gonna go over top. And then I'm gonna take this color right here, which is like a light champagne-y highlighting shade, and I'm gonna go right over top with that guy as well. So that color has quite a like white base to it, and I wanted it to look more gold, so that's why I put the gold colors underneath. Uh, and the golds are not really like bright enough shades to really brighten up that inner corner, so this way I can kind of brighten up the inner corner with a golden shade, even though it doesn't come in the palette. Okay, and that's a little chunky just because I did so much layering. So I'm just gonna take a brush that's really fluffy and just kind of go over top and blend it out a little bit. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and fill in my brows and we'll come back to finish off the face. Oh man, guys, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. A little bit of brow action. Mm. Okay. Let's get some bronzer going. I'm gonna use my Dior bronzer in the color 001. Look how much I have used. It's amazing. It's lasted me so long, honestly. I'm gonna go in with this little brush from NARS because it's a little bit more precise and I've already done my brows and I don't wanna mess them up. I'm gonna really load up this brush because I am feeling very pasty. And I'm gonna come in here and give my skin a nice bronze. I'm not gonna lie. The past little while, my self-esteem has not been peaking. I'm quite a confident person generally, and I haven't always been, but definitely within the last five or six years, that has changed a lot for me. And I have been vlogging every day in quarantine and like I talked about at the beginning of the video I've been eating a lot more dessert I'm definitely moving my body way less like I'm working out way less and like just generally moving around a lot less than I would be not under these circumstances and so I can like tell I'm getting a little bit of weight in my face which is why I'm like going ham with this contour right now but yeah I just haven't been feeling great about myself, my skin's been bad, you know, and I've been vlogging every day and when I'm editing the clips, I'm like looking at myself and I'm like, oh, you look terrible in like every single clip. And like having a little bit of negative self-talk, which I don't really do much anymore normally. And it just feels really nice to kind of put a little bit of makeup on and feel a little bit more like myself. One of Charlotte Tilbury's mottos, she has a few of them, is give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world. She really believes that like teaching a woman how to apply her makeup in a way that she thinks is beautiful is super empowering for women because they feel confident when they feel like they look their best. 
and I just completely agree with that. I feel so good right now and it just took a little bit of makeup, you know? And normally I don't need makeup to feel good, but I feel like under these circumstances right now, like with everything that's going on, I've just been a little bit more down than usual and this is really helping, so. Yeah, anyways, let's keep going. I added a ton of bronzer and I don't normally contour with this bronzer because it's a little bit warm for it, but it's all that I have right now and I definitely wanted to uh, kind of carve that out, change the shape of my face a little bit. So yeah, let's move on. I'm just literally packing that on at this point. What should we do next? Let's do highlighter. So I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm gonna take the glow shade, obviously, because there's nothing left here. That's like my favorite joke. I don't know why, it's not even a joke, okay. And I'm gonna add this to the top of my cheekbone. A Little bit above the brow. Bridge in my nose, tip of my nose, and Cupid's bow. Okay, let me just add a little more over here because why not guys, why not? Next I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. So I have this guy right here. This is from a brand called Catherine Isabella. This is a nice kind of light pink shade. It looks a lot scarier in the pan than it really comes off on your face. So I'm just gonna dip my little brush in there, take a little bit off on the back of my hand, and then Work that in. Ooh. You guys have heard me say this about creams before, but if you go a little bit overboard with your cream products, you can just blend, 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 blend. Just keep pushing them into the skin and you can tone them down a ton. My light just died. So I wanna film a TikTok for my lips. So if you guys wanna see that, you can check out my TikTok. My username is the same as my Instagram. It's just at Jessica. Let me go and film that, charge up my light a little bit, and then we'll come back and I'll say goodbye. All right guys, so I finished my lips on TikTok. I just did a little tutorial about how to overline your lips naturally. So go check it out if you wanna see. But that's the finished look. I really love the way it came out. I feel really great. It feels very me. I feel very much like myself right now. Let me give you guys a close up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too. Leave me a comment down below so I know you were here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.